Watch out, Mila. Mama's recording. We're gonna, I'm gonna attempt to. All right, so I've got home goods. <sighs> Timu. And Mila is out. Look at her, she's so cute. She is so precious. It's time. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Cheers to all my fall and spooky beans. <sighs> I'm so excited, but truly can't believe how early fall and Halloween, mainly Halloween, decor hunting season has begun. I got several things from Home Goods back at um, the end of June, which I'm so excited to share with you guys. I've also gotten more things today. I've got some awesome things that I've managed to get both in person, but also online. Never expected it to happen this quickly. I'm not complaining, but it's awesome. It's our first fall and Halloween decor haul of 2023. This autumnal girl is so, so, so happy. I'm so stoked. If you are new here, I do a ton of fall and Halloween content on this channel. Fall is my absolute favorite time of year. I crave it and try incorporate bits of fall into my everyday lifestyle all year round. If that interests you at all, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. You're not gonna wanna miss all the cozy content yet to come this season. I would also appreciate it if you gave this a thumbs up if you too are a fall and spooky bean because we need to get to know each other a lot better. Anyway, yeah, I have a lot to share with you today. So uh, into the first fall and Halloween decor haul for 2023 on this channel. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Sorry. If you hear some weird noises in the background, that's my little puppy Mila who's trying to, trying to nap right now. She's also not feeling good because she got into some decor stuff while I was gone. Halloween hunting. Oh, you can't see her. Are you excited, Mila? Are you excited? Are you excited? Now that over the past couple of years, I've accumulated a pretty substantial collection of fall and Halloween. At this point, I'm more curating my collection than anything else. And I might even be partnering with a couple pieces that I've shown in past hauls because I look at those pieces now and I'm like, I think you just bought that because you were hyped up rather than it being your actual style. And I think a lot of us can fall victim to that. I'm trying to just, you know, accumulate stuff that I really want and that I can see being in my collection for a long time in the future. And so far I'm actually sticking to that. So I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I've been accumulating from some online purchases over the past, I'd say like two months or so, starting with Timu. I did a first impressions of Timu about a month, month and a half ago. I will link that up above for you and down in the description box if you are curious to see my thoughts. Timu has a ton of dupes, particularly Halloween decor dupes on their website. And I got suckered into buying two. I'll show those to you in a moment, but I'm gonna start with something that I did actually show in my first impressions Timu haul. It is this adorable pumpkin cup and a spoon. Sorry for all the jangling, but as you can see here, it's quite good quality, made of ceramic. It says pumpkin cup here in this like almost Starbucks or even Dunkin' Donuts type of font. I think I said in my Timu haul that it reminded me of something you'd see from Starbucks. I think I was thinking Dunkin' Donuts actually, because you see that font there? This is the pumpkin shaped spoon. It's not the largest cup in the world, but could use it for, you know, some yogurt or cereal even, or just for like an espresso. I thought this was adorable for, for the upcoming season, but I, you know, I use my fall and Halloween mugs all year round for different things. I will totally get a ton of use out of this for both drinks and food. Last time I was on Timu's website, this was sold out, but if you turn on your notifications, you can get notified when things come back in stock. And then another thing that I bought off of Timu, I have made mention of this in past fall and Halloween decor hauls that I want to start incorporating more fall related decor that I can keep out all year round, just to give me that cozy serotonin that I need. So, um, I picked up these because I thought these would be great to use all year round, including for Christmas and into winter. These gold colored fall napkin holders. Let me take one of them out so I can show them to you. 
Hopefully you can see it pretty well. There is a bit of a glare, I apologize. Of course, it's, you know, like a fall leaf that I can use in my everyday decor, which will be so nice. Comes in a pack of six. I just actually bought two of them. So I've got 12 in total, which should be more than enough. I'm particularly collecting some of this stuff for whenever I finally get my own place. I live with a family member at the moment. While they appreciate my seasonal decorating, I don't think they love the idea of me having all sorts of fall related items out all year round. But um, I think these are nice enough that you could use them for Christmas and of course, spring and summer. So yeah, I picked these up from Timu. Next up are the two dupes that I mentioned earlier. I skipped out on it last year from Bath and Body, or was it the year before? No, they had it last year year but they also had it the year before i think it's the called the vampire hand and i ended up getting the two headless male and female bus candle holders from bath and body works because i just I, and i'm so in love with them i'm so glad i have them in my collection it just really wasn't speaking to me then i saw the dupe version on timu for like next to nothing i thought what the heck i i got i gotta at least see what it looks like so here it is first off it's so much bigger than I expected. To my first ever Timu haul, I did get a couple things in there that the sizing was more than questionable. Wait a minute. What? Really, Timu? That is the tiniest little planter I've ever seen. This is humongous and shockingly detailed. Like, look at the base of that. Like the veins and the knuckles in the hand. They even included a ring around one of the fingers. Yes, the painting job is not the best. It's just looking a little flat. I don't mind that though. I mean, again, this was really inexpensive. Everything on Timu is disturbingly low priced. So you get what you pay for. I think I am gonna DIY the hand a little bit just to make it less flat looking. I was pleasantly surprised by how good it looks and how close in resemblance it looks to Bath & Body Works version. Now, of course, the Bath & Body Works version is much higher quality. Like I've even, I've seen it in person. It'll hold a one wick just fine, but it will not hold a three wick Bath & Body Works candle, but you'll be fine with a one wick. So yeah, I picked this up from Zibu. I've seen several listings for this. So if one of them is sold out, you should be able to find another one. And the second dupe is another piece that is from Cracker Barrel last year that everybody was after. It was sold out everywhere. I didn't feel like I was missing out, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not necessarily my style, but then I saw it on Timu. Too curious. I thought, I gotta see this in person for myself and see how it stacks up. Bear in mind, it's not nearly as extravagant as the one from Cracker Barrel, but it's not bad. The ghost or phantom, or are they calling this a wraith? It might be called a wraith, I'm not sure. From Cracker Barrel with the lantern. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell right now um, because of the overcast, but it does light up and the lantern itself lights up. I think the wraith is like probably double the size of this. And of course it's not as detailed as that, but it's not bad. It's a knockoff and it's, it's actually quite nice. The only part of it that I will say is pretty wonky is the lantern, the paint. Oh, it took me forever to put that on and it just fell off. The paint job on that is really, really, <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. So this is another one that I'm gonna DIY. I'm not sure if I will maybe paint in the Wraith a little bit or not. Um, I don't mind him as is, but the lantern needs some work. So I will definitely work on this one as well. It wasn't last year, but the year before, I managed to get the Headless Horseman with the horse from my local marshals and I did DIY him. I will also pop up a link to that if you wanna go see that. If you're interested in seeing me actually DIY any of these, um, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll consider doing a video out of it. If you're willing to put in a little bit of DIY work, he's worth it. So if you were curious about him from Timu, this is what he looks like. Yeah, got this little guy. Sticking with the online purchases. Next is just one item that I actually bought off of Shein. I rarely buy from Shein anymore, but I had seen this on there last year. And I saw it on there again this year. I actually got the life-size version last year from Target. The orange uh, pumpkin skeleton. He's one of my favorite purchases from last year. But I saw the baby version on Shein. I expected it to be garbage, but... It's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be made of plastic. The only thing that doesn't move is his head or neck, but his arms and his hands, his knees and his feet completely move. So you can pose him 
however you'd like. And you know, it's not like one bad move and it's gonna break on you. Very inexpensive too. You might even be able to find him. I think he's actually on Timu as well, but I'm not sure if it's the exact same one or not, but I will try to link the one from Shein for you below. Yeah, so if, if you were curious in the baby version, <laughs> he was too cute. I have no clue if I'm gonna like actually pose him with the big one or not. I might look kind of ridiculous, <laughs> we'll see. I will certainly find a spot for him. It's like a mini Jack basic girl. I call my life-size one Jack. So maybe this will be, this will be Jack Jr. <laughs> Next, I ordered two items off of fun.com. It's also gone in the past by Halloween Costumes. I've gotten a couple things from them in the past. I actually bought some Johanna Parker pieces off of that website last year, and they have a ton of new ones that are Halloween related at the moment. So if you're looking for Johanna Parker, definitely go check them out. First item I got is the only thing in this haul that I half regret not just because I already have a substantial, way too big mug collection. I have a ton of Halloween mugs already. So now whenever I feel like adding a new mug to my collection, I'm really trying to pay attention to the overall design and shape of it. I like to go for something that's more unique looking. And in hindsight, this mug in shape is very basic. The actual print on it is cute, but I kind of wish I would have returned it. Anyway, it's a Hocus Pocus mug. And on one side, you've got a crescent moon, a broomstick, and Little Binks there, who, Binks is my favorite, but like he's everybody's favorite, is he not? And then on the other side was what drew me to buying this in the first place. It says, oh luck, another glorious morning makes me sick. This is a mug I can use all year round, especially for those hot, humid, sunny summer mornings. This quote comes to mind for me. I told you, I'm, I'm an autumnal girl inside and out. It has a couple little graphics around it, another broomstick, a cauldron, a vacuum, little potions bottle. The inside is black. This might've been like $10. It's a little bit pricey, especially since, you know, you go to Home Goods and get like some really crazy wacky autumnal and Halloween mugs for like three bucks. I think the window has closed for me to return it. So I'll figure out a use for it, I'm sure. And then this, this was the main reason I even made a fun.com purchase recently. Oh, the lawn people have arrived. Our neighbors are getting their lawn cut. So I apologize. You're probably going to be able to hear some of that. Oh yeah, you're really going to be able to hear that. I guess we ought to take a, take a break. You're probably going to hear them off and on. And I apologize. As I was saying, this was the main reason that I made a fun.com purchase. I've actually been eyeing up the sweater version of this for well over a year. I never pulled the plug on it only because I have two Sleepy Hollow Headless Horsemen apparel items at this point. Not that you can have too many, but if you're not new around here. You already know this, but if you are new, it's my favorite spooky related book, movie. Headless Horseman's my favorite monster. I collect Sleepy Hollow merch. It's the main theme of my fireplace mantle every year. They recently came out with a throw blanket of the same sweater. I thought, all right. That's mine. I will pop up a picture for you of what it fully looks like because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it all in shot, but we'll do our best. It's this humongous Sleepy Hollow blanket. I love it so much. I interrupted Mila's nap because I got so excited over Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> I would say as far as throw blankets go, the quality isn't the best. It is very much on the thinner side. It was a little pricier. It was $30. I don't care. I was after it for the print and I'm probably either going to stick this downstairs on one of the chairs near our fireplace or I've actually thought about using it for Halloween time up here because I have a Nevermore quilt set that I got last year that I love. And I think this could tie in very well over the end of my bed. So we'll see. It was my first Sleepy Hollow related purchase for the season and not the last. So stay tuned till the end because I got a Holy Grail item. You probably already know what it is, but in any case, I really do love it. It's very cute. Beggars can't be choosers when it comes to Sleepy Hollow related merch because there's not exactly a whole lot of it out there. I wish there was. Then again, I'd be buying it all. So that's probably a good thing. <laughs> and then the remainder of this haul are all items I was able to snatch in person. So I'm gonna start with 
at home. My at home is still taking forever to get their Halloween merch out. Even a lot of their fall stuff is not in store, so I'm not sure what's going on. But I was there this morning just to see if they had anything new. Did walk away with this really pretty bronze maple leaf uh, wreath hanger. I actually figured this would be beautiful to actually have my bedroom all year round. So this is going to be a year round core piece for me. I got a wreath, actually, I forgot to take it out of my car. Darn it. All right, well, we'll get into that next. But anyway, I had this um, in a pumpkin version as well. This was $5.99. Not the cheapest, but not certainly not the most expensive. I, I thought this was very simplistic, but really beautiful. Of course, gives that nod to my favorite season that I can enjoy all the time. So picked this up from at home. And then the one piece that is actually gonna go there and replace that wreath. I don't have it to show you because it's uh, downstairs in my car at the moment. It's from Target. I think it might be from the Threshold line. I will pop up a picture up here so you can see what it looks like. It's an all neutral type of wreath, which actually I normally wouldn't go for. I like that it's more neutral so that I can keep it up for other seasons. And then maybe for the actual fall time, I will be on the lookout for more in your face fall wreath. We'll see. It was pricey. $40. It's huge and it's it's great quality, but it is on the pricier side. At the same time, it's an investment piece for me. And those are the kind of things that I'm trying to be on the lookout for now. I know that's very extra to have a wreath up in my bedroom, but again, I, I live with a family member. This is not my house, so I don't, I feel like my bedroom is the only place that I can incorporate all decor all year round if I want to. Next, moving into Michaels. My Michaels doesn't have too much Halloween out yet, but they do have pretty much all of their fall line. So I definitely had to run over there and get a couple things. I'm gonna start with the only Halloween piece that I actually picked out because I thought these would look great on my fireplace mantle. Mila, what you doing, Mila? You wanna lay there? I'm almost done. Mommy's almost done talking. Anyway, I thought these would work really well on our mantle where I do my Sleepy Hollow theme. And I was particularly drawn to this type of pick because I loved the white and black maple leaves. I just thought that was really striking and very different. And then just has this touch of purple in it. Also has these black eucalyptus leaves in a silver skull. So I picked up four of these. Of course, the one day that I managed to go to Michael's, nothing was on sale. I paid full price for these. These are each. $2.99. And then this is also a part of their fall line. I had this in mind for a particular spot in my bedroom here. I have some faux mustard yellow bush in a vase pretty much until the fall season. And then I take it out, but I leave it out there the rest of the year. And I thought I would inc incorporate more of these into that bush just to give off more of the fall colors year round. So I picked up this pick, or I should say bush. This was pricey, this was $9.99. I should have waited for a sale, yes, but the, pr the problem was though, I didn't want to wait on any of this stuff only because I have a new puppy. If you missed the video or you're curious to know more about um, my new puppy, Mila, go and watch that video. She has special needs. I'm not getting out too often. So I just don't know how often I'm going to be able to get to Michael's to pick up stuff like this. I think they're very pretty though. These will be nice to have up year round. And then one more bush bundle that I got from Michael's was this one. They had these in a host of different colors. Very much, and I mentioned this last year, I'm very much drawn to deeper rust color for autumn, more than like the bright orange garland. It came with this paper mache wrapping, which to be honest with you, I will probably remove that. I thought these would be beautiful, either up here or maybe even downstairs somewhere. This was the priciest of them all. This was $12.99. Anyway, they're very pretty and it's totally my color. And then I saw this in a TikToker's trip to Michael's to show all of their fall decor and I couldn't leave without it. It's this adorable pumpkin felt garland. I just think that is so precious and um, fill my pumpkin loving heart with joy. And they're quite large as well. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I might string these like across my TV mantle here. I might put these downstairs, I'm not sure, but I these were so darn cute. This was $19.99. Pricey, wait for a sale, but they are adorable. I'm excited to decorate with these. Lastly for Michaels, 
I specifically went to Michael's looking for this particular piece. As soon as I spotted it, it was mine. Pumpkin Spice Queen tabletop sign. As you can see here, it's shaped like a pumpkin spice latte. The actual pumpkin itself is 3D and it just says pumpkin spice queen, which is your girl. This will totally either go in my coffee area, which would make the most sense, but I also do like a whole pumpkin spice theme around my bed. So I might even stick this up here. Have this. this was so cute. This was also $9.99, but this is another piece that I will have for years to come. If you are obsessed with pumpkin spice like this basic girl is, then this will be right up your alley. And lastly, we got to do home goods. I was shocked that at the end of June, beginning of July, I decided to check out my home goods, fully believing that they would not have any Halloween decor, let alone um, one of my holy grail items that I've been after for for literally three or four years. And they had it. When I was there today, I, I couldn't help myself. I picked up two Halloween dog toys. I mean, I, I, I had to. The first is this rope double jack-o'-lantern squeaky toy. Just got these cute two little jack-o'-lanterns. This was $5.99. It's by the Harry Barker line. They do squeak, but Mila is completely passed out at the moment, so I'm not gonna risk waking her up. And then this was the first one I saw. This adorable little baddie. Got like a cute little buck tooth and cute little bat ears. It's even um, a yellow hairline. He's freaking adorable. He has a tug and oh, oh, he squeaks in more than one spot. Okay, he squeaks down here and he squeaks up here. $7.99. My puppy has to have some fall and Halloween related toys. We're gonna be going all out for her. She's gonna be like her mama. They have a ton of these at Home Goods. So if you want your fur ch child to have some fall or Halloween toys, run to Home Goods. And then the cream de la creme. I still am not over the fact that I found more than one version of this at my Home Goods. I had actually spotted him initially on the Home Goods website and I just waited a smidge too long. I kept it in my cart for like two days, praying and hoping that once <laughs> that Friday I um, got my next paycheck, I could rush to, back to my cart and order it. The night before I got paid, it was out of stock. I was so crushed. And then when I was at my home goods, I literally squealed out loud and ran right to grab him. The Standing Headless Horseman. Second to my headless horseman with the horse, this is the second item from Home Goods that I have been desperately after for the last couple Halloween seasons. I'm so happy that I finally got him. Oh my gosh. First off, he is heavy duty. He's, he's got some weight to him. He's much bigger than I expected him to be. I want to say that maybe he came in a smaller version before. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. He does light up. I'm not sure. I don't nah. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell at the moment. The jack-o'-lantern does light up though. And he is so detailed. This particular detail on his vest, I think is just, that's gorgeous. It, when you actually get up close to him, he's green, not like gray and black, which kind of surprised me. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't digging it. It's growing on me. I, I, I cannot believe I got him in person. This is from Martha Stewart and it was $39.99. Totally freaking worth it. I'm going to incorporate him probably into my Sleepy Hollow themed fireplace somehow. I'm not quite sure though, because usually headless horseman on the horse goes front and center. He will find his proper place, believe me, because he deserves it. I, I told myself, hey, if you get nothing else this year, you finally got him. I have added quite a bit to my Sleepy Hollow collection, so I will probably be showing you guys on this channel how I decorate this year. Of course, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see it, but I might be filming it regardless. It is gonna be wicked cool, especially now that I have this guy to add to the mix. And you know I couldn't stop there, because not only did they have the big boy, who I really wanted, but they also had the smaller gold version as well. And I had seen this version last year, not in person. When I saw him in person, I was really impressed. I thought he was gorgeous. And he too lights up again. I'm sad to say you're probably not gonna be able to tell. For comparison, this guy's a lot 
heavier for one, but he's also substantially bigger. So I actually walked around with both of them for a while, thinking I would eventually take this one out of my cart. But then I had the great idea, depending on who you talk to, would probably work out really well upstairs here in my bedroom. I have a lot of gold themed accents. So why not indulge? He had to come home with me as well. He was $16.99. Now I have the three Headless Horseman statues from Home Goods that I've wanted for the longest time. And I actually managed to get all of them in person rather than caving and buying from resellers. So I'm very, very pleased. I'm very happy. My sleepy hollow heart is, is full. <laughs> yeah, keep checking Home Goods and uh, maybe you'll be able to snatch these as well. And now that we're losing the lighting because we're about to have a moody storm, perfect setting for this type of haul. That is my cue to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know which of these was your favorite of the finds that I got. I think it should be the Headless Horseman personally, but I'm just so stoked. Again, like I may mentioned earlier, I'm very much curating my collection at this point. I did make two more orders recently, very small. So there will definitely be at least one more fall and Halloween haul on this channel. I'm just going to be very mindful instead of like falling victim to the hype of it all and really just pick items that I can definitely see fitting into my style and that I will have for years to come. So aside from hauls, you will definitely see some more fall and Halloween content coming your way because we celebrate the cozy seasons all year round on this channel. Be on the lookout for that. Be sure to subscribe before you go so that you don't miss any of it. I hope you are all doing well wherever you are and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Here they come again. Coffee break. <laughs> Put them back there for now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, buddy. Go away. To you, this coffee is cold. Yep, it is.